hello and welcome to the messed up so in this video what we are going to do we are going to define a outer boundary a geometry a chimney uh, to be frank so let's uh, pick our chimney so to do that first i'm gonna hide this fire so let's go to our video and see okay so let's make our chimney here to do that what i will do i will just let me just convert it to the orthographic i will take this inner one and just paste it on the top of this guy the instance is fine the next thing which i have to do is to make a hole here three holes then a pipe structure so to make a hole i used i make uh, cylinders here so let me first go to top view and orthographic cylinders this much radius is fine for the height okay this height is fine so to let's just make it to the top one in the center and uh, I want two copies okay just little bit towards the center okay it's fine so now I'm gonna apply a boolean operation to cut it to apply a boolean you have to select your thing then add operands I'm gonna add these guys and then I will subtract you can see I made a hole here the next gel ne the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, make uh, tubes around these guys so that we will provide fire to a place to get out so this mess is fine a height we can wear it anyway later so let's put it on top it's okay actually you can see it's fine here let's make copies press shift and drag it's here now let's do the same for this guy okay it's here so now we have built up our chimneys now the let's okay so we are done here with the chimney thing now let's simulate our fire here again and see what how does this chimney affect the fire actually we have to simulate it again let's clear the data first let's start the simulation the fire should come out of these chimneys So I've started it. So let's wait.
so you can see here the fire tries to get out of these uh, the chimneys that we have made so if we want the fire to come out of these boxes so we can increase the velocity or you know change the change the okay I am gonna change the velocity here because that will be much better so I'm going to let me first stop the simulation here I've stopped it now I'm gonna delete the data first so I'm just gonna increase the velocity by going to the source and I choose the velocity to be around 20 centimeters four times the original one and now let's see So here you can see the fire is coming outside the box in a very effective way. So the next thing that you can do, you can wait for the the whole simulation to be completed. I am stopping here. So uh, you can export it by going to this, go to the simulation box. And uh, the last option that you will see here is the export and select mesh. So the fire will be converted into the mesh and uh, if you want a high quality mesh you can actually uh, decrease your shell size while generating fire and uh, go to export export and uh, the fire is uh, so you can export using the alembic file so alembic file is a format which keyshot supports for these kind of simulations so name it like anything and uh, save it will ask you the frame range where you want it I want all the range and uh, select all of these it's applying says nerve specifically so that you can get a better smoothness just click on export and it will export your data so from the next videos I will be telling you like how I, I have rendered this setup so see you in the next video